Right, we're going to get ourselves going. So my name is Matt, Matt Smith. I'm an LTA Level 5 Master Club coach and previous British Coach of the Year. This week, it's all about serve it up. So we're going to serve today. Okay, so you'll pick up lots of new skills. Make sure you're in a nice, safe space, particularly if you're going to be doing overheads today. Try to make sure you're not underneath the light. Remember, this is accessible to anyone. Anyone can play. You don't even need a racket. You can use a frying pan, a wooden spoon. You can just use your hand today if you want to. Just use your hand. If you've got a ball, great. A balloon, even better. A hat. If you don't have any of them, just a bit of tissue, that's fine as well. Let's start with our warm up. We always have to warm ourselves up, get ourselves going, particularly if we can do lots of overarm today. So start off with, find yourself a bit of space. We're going to jog. So on those turns. We're going to windmill the arms, forwards. Remember, we're going to warm up those shoulders. Today we're serving it up. Let's even go backwards. Hopefully you've been practicing, can you do one forwards, one backwards? Get that brain sweating as well, straight away. If you can do that, can you pause and go the other way? Woo! Oh, I've done it. Good, right. Let's cross over those arms, we're going to do lots of, lots of use of the arms, eh? lots of throwing action. Right, tippy toes. Reach up to the stars as high as you can. Tippy toes, really high. Can you reach the ceiling? <laughs> Mummies and daddies. Everyone can play, any age, any ability. Right now on the heels. Let's be a duck. Quack, quack. Steady come. If you've got two tennis balls, great. If not, it can be any item. We're gonna place them on the floor. We've done this the last few weeks. These are hot rocks. They're very hot, okay? Hot to touch. Ow! So very hot, okay? Your job, you could use just one. We're gonna tap on top of that hot rock. If you want, you can speed it up a bit. Even better, you can use two. So keeping on those toes, it can be a bit of tissue, it can just be a mark on the floor. Woo! Can you tap up and down on top of that item? It's a little bit like skipping without a tennis, without a skipping rope. Last five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and stop there. Right, the two items. They can be anything, let's put them a little bit further out. This time, best ready position, remember? So heat, feet, shoulders apart, bend those knees, hands in front, ready. Back and hat, ready to count. We are going to rotate round those two items. We're going to sidestep all the way round. Let's go. If I clap, or if I say switch, we switch direction. So switch, so round the other way. Switch, round we go. If we can, we can figure of eight. Let's go in and out of those two items as well. Switch, so other direction. Figure of eight, woo! Last five, four, three, two, one, and stop there. Good ready positions, everyone. Great work so far. Woo! Right. If you've got your racket, or frying pan, spoon, many of you love this game. It's been a classic in this Tennis at Home series. Place it on the floor, in your ready position. We're gonna do a little bit of head, shoulders, knees and toes. So if you watch me, be heads, shoulders, knees, toes. If, if I shout out, 
Ready? Pick up your racket. I see who's going to be the quickest to be in their ready position. So it's a race. You're racing me. If you're playing with someone, you can race them as well. Right, ready position. On those times. Let's go. Heads. Shoulders. Knees. Heads. Toes. Knees. Heads. Shoulders. Ready. So best ready position. How speedy were you? I'm right, gonna go again. Best ready positions, ready. Like a cat, like a goalkeeper, trying to save a penalty. Heads, shoulders, knees, heads, toes, ready. Who's the most ready? Oh, we're gonna do it last time. Can you beat me? Best ready position. Hands in front, chest up, like a ninja, like last week. Heads, shoulders, knees, toes, knees, toes, heads, shoulders, knees, heads, ready. Oh, I was speedy. Did you beat me by the third time? Grab your racket, hold it nice and close. Or spoon, whatever you want. I'm gonna use a spoon for this one. You can just use your hands, that's fine as well. A little bit of shadow swings. So, a recap from the last few weeks. We're gonna do a forehand. So give me a wave with your favorite hand. That's your favorite side. So for a forehand, we turn sideways. We go low. That's your forehand. Back hands, to the back of the hands, sideways the other way. Low to high. Your forehand volley, remember that favourite hand? We hold up nice and high, and we step to the opposite foot. Back hand volley, back hand hand, step to the opposite foot. It's like a little high five. Let's try that again. Forehand, sideways swing. Backhand, sideways swing. Forehand, it's that high five. Backhand, it's that high five. Mummy's daddies, you can help. If you're on your own, that's fine. Just keep practicing all the different sides. And the last one today is our serve. So our serve position today, we're in a tick position. If you see that, if you've done a good piece of work at school, you get a big tick. Or you saying bolt. Wah! Well, if you're lucky enough to win a trophy in tennis, they always seem to come in a serve position like this. So once you're in that position, you swing. Let's try that 10 times. That's two, three, four, five, six, keep swinging, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Great work, right, for a bit of fun, we're gonna put it together. So first stop is a serve, so up and swing. Then you've gotta be ready. We do forehand, we do backhand, forehand volley, backhand volley. All the shots of tennis. Great work, everyone. We should be nice and warm now. Right. got a balloon. Now's the time to grab it. If you don't, a bit of tissue is okay as well to keep it in the air. A serve is all about above the head. So with this balloon, using both hands, let's see if we keep that ball, that balloon even, up in the sky. Let's give it a go. Use both hands. Use both sides of the hands as well if you can. Keep that balloon above the head. Or you can use a bit of tissue. A bit trickier with tissue. You keep it up. Let's see if you do 10. 2, 3, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Great work. So it's all about that space above the head. We're going to be looking at that today. Right. If you have your ball, pick it up. Your job is you're going to see if you can alternate between the full hand and then your favourite hand. So your favourite hand is left open. That's the one you're going to swing with. Your non-dominant hand hold the ball in, because that's what we're going to use to throw up our serve. So remember, strongest is at the back, other is at the front. Your job now is this is the cloud. It's a floaty cloud, you've got to keep it off the floor. This is our hot rock that we used earlier. Remember, it's very hot. You've got to see if you can tap the cloud up and then hit it with your hand. So tap up and hit. So the rock taps the cloud up, then you tap the cloud with your hand. See, so keep it going. So rock, hand, rock, hand, rock, hand. Keep that cloud up into the sky. Keep going. Great work, good practice. Right, we're going to see how many of them we can do in 40 seconds. If you've got a bit of tissue, you can use that as well. You can just throw the tissue up and tap it. That's fine as well. Right. Forty seconds. A tap up and then a hit counts as one score. I'll see how many you can get in 40 seconds. Your time starts now. So hit up, high five, that's one, two, three. Keep going, keep scoring. We've got 15 seconds already. So tap up and hit, tap up and hit. If you've got tissue, you can do that as well. Up, and high five that tissue. Up, high five that tissue, it counts as one, two, and so on. Last for eight seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and zero, stop there. Right, next one. If you've got a sock, grab it. You can just use a sock if you want, that's fine. Even better if you pop a board inside. Oh. So you can bring it right down to the bottom of the sock. And this is our slithery snake this morning. Here it is, slithery snake. This way we're gonna learn the rhythm of the serve. So it's not like a pendulum now, it's a swivel, remember. Make sure you've got some space around you. With this snake, slithery snake, you're gonna go round behind your head, and then forwards. That's your throwing action. It's round and throw. Round the back of the head, and throw. You could just do it with your hand, that's fine as well. Round and throw. If you've got a sock break, Let's see if we do it 10 times, see if we can keep it going. That's one, two, keep the movement going. Three, where you want to practice on your own, I hope this one. Five, six, seven, eight, don't let go of it. Nine, and 10. So if you've got a sock, if you've got a ball, great one to practice at home. You can do it on your own. Really good to have the rhythm there. If you watch Serena Williams at the Australian Open the other day, you'll see whenever she goes up for the coin toss, she's always standing there, warming her arm up with her racket. We can do the same with a sock, ready to play when we get back on court. Right, next game. Take the 
Take that ball out of the sock or grab a ball or any item, that's fine. And we're going to have ourselves a lily pad, so a target. I'm going to use a bit of paper. You can use what you wish. Lily pad or target on the floor. Your favourite hand, your best hand behind you. And in that tip position, that serve position, that throw position. In your front hand, you're going to have the throw. This is our lily pad. Your job is you've got to see if you can get that frog to jump up and hit that lily pad. So watch me, it goes up. Can you hit that lily pad? I'll try again. The important parts of this is we're not facing the lily pad. We're sideways on. So I should be able to fit in between a corridor if you see me there. A squeeze in the corridor. And the frog goes up. And imagine the space where you might want to hit the ball for a serve when you throw. That's your contact point. That is where you want your frog to be. So it's no good just dropping it. We've got to go up to the sky. Give it a few more practices. Up to the sky. Make sure you don't go too high. Don't smash your ceilings. Oh. Oh, very good. Good, right, so we're going to have one more thing, we're going to see if we can score it. So you're going to be in your throwing position, throw up for lily pad, and then we're going to be in our best ready position. So watch again, if you catch the ball even better. So up, lily pad, ready position. Even if you miss, it doesn't matter. See so if you can grab it and be in your best ready position, that counts as a go. I want to see how many times you can hit your lily pad in 40 seconds. Remember, you must get that ball be in a ready position after each attempt. Right, your time starts now. So frog goes up, you hit the lily pad, ready position, again. Ready position, can you hit that lily pad? Oh, I've got one. I've got two, make sure you're ready each time. I've got three, we've had 25 seconds. So throw up, and ready. Last 10 seconds. Make sure that frog jumps up. Five, four, Three, two, one, and stop there. Great work with the frog. Lovely pushing up. Remember, it's all about where we contact the ball and the serve, where our throw is going to go. If you've got a hat, let's grab it. If you've got a hat, grab it. Keep this lily pad here. We're going to keep using that as a target. If you haven't got a hat, don't worry. You can just use your hand. You can use a bit of tissue paper. I'll show you for this one. I'll use a softer ball, just for a little bit of safety. You're in your tick position again. This time, we're going to see if we can catch the ball. So think about that lily pad. Think about where we're going to contact that frog. And with our next, we're going to see if we can catch the frog in the air. So watch, it goes up, I catch. I got it. And there it goes up, and catch. Woo! You can use a bit of screwed up tissue paper. Can you catch? Can you catch? I've done it twice, keep practicing. Phew! I got it again. If you don't have a hat, that's fine, use a bit of tissue. Throw up, can you catch it? Throw up, can you catch it? Try to catch it with your strongest hand. Right. I'm going to give you 40 seconds again. And I want to see how many times you can catch that frog. 
nice bit of tissue paper, but we're using our imaginations here. Can you beat the score that you got your frog to land on your lily pad? That's your target. Right, your time starts now. So the frog jumps up. Can we catch the frog? I got it once. Remember that tick position? That Usain Bolt? We're looking to throw, we're looking to catch. Oh, I've done it four times. I'm using a pair of socks for this one. I've done it six, got the last ten seconds. Seven. Eight. Nine. Three. Two, one, and stop there. Right, if you want to pick up your racket, if you've got one, if not, don't worry, you can use your hand, you can use a spoon, anything around, it doesn't matter. If you've got a balloon, great, again, a bit of tissue will work for this. We're now going to use the racket. We're in our third part of the session, we've done a warm up, done our body, now we're going to look at the racket. Again, it doesn't matter if you don't have a racket. Right, we're going to start by trying to elbow the ball up. Just watch me, let's see if you use that elbow. Oh, it's tricky. Oh, keep the balloon high. Oh. Try that elbow, keep it going. Got a bit of tissue, you can still do it. Hit it, pick it up, go again. Can you hit it with your elbow? A bit of practice. Next one, can you do it with the butt or the bottom? The bottom. So you do the bottom of your racket. Or your hand even, just the bottom of your hand. Throw it up and tap. Throw it up and tap. See if you can keep that cloud in the sky. The butt of the racket. If you can catch it, try again. So using the bottom of the racket. Next one, we're gonna keep it moving. Can you use the frame of your racket? Last week, if you're doing volleys, it could be like a ninja if you're using your hand. What? What? So, can you keep the cloud in the sky with the frame? We're looking to learn a new skill here. It's all about serving it up. Great work. And the last one is we're going to try doing the strings. That could just be your flat hand. It could be your frying pan. Whatever you want to use. I'm going to go frying pan for this one. Can we now use the front, the face of your item? Keep the balloon up. So keep the cloud in the sky. Remember, wherever your strings or your face, wherever that points, that's where the ball or balloon goes. That's where it goes. So, let's see if we can put that together. If you can complete this, you're a super server. If you've got a balloon, perfect. Your job and your challenge, if you choose to accept it, is you're going to go elbow, but frame strings. It's the superset. Let me know if you can do it. Elbow, but frame strings. If you don't have a balloon, do it one at a time. Elbow, pick it up. Then do but, then do frame, then do strings. Can you do it? Give me a yes if you can. You can practice one at home. It's a bit tricky that one, but it gets you thinking about the motion of your serve. We're going to have some targets. You can use anything you want. I'm going to use cushions. Because you just told me we need to serve it into something. We serve it into a box. We're going to use a target. It can be anything. You can use your sofa. You could use your other household person if you want to. Try to serve it out your bag, Daddy. But make sure it's soft. I'm going to use cushions. 
I'm gonna pop them down. So my job, again, you can use a racket, you can use a balloon, you can use a bit of tissue. Just use your hand if you want. In that serve position, you're gonna pop, rack in your favorite hand, the frog's gonna pop up, and you're gonna see if you can aim at your target. So for up, aim. Ooh, I got it, that's one. So go back, for up, and target. So can you hit that target? Give me anything. Like I said, use your hand and a bit of tissue paper, that's fine. We throw up, high five. Can you hit that target? Make sure it's something soft. Make sure we're safe. After you serve, can we be ready each time as well? Can you be ready after every serve? Right, I'm gonna give you 40 seconds to see how many you can get. How many times can you hit that target? Right, you ready? The time starts now. 40 seconds. Can you hit those targets? Remember, that will be the service box. Tell yourself I've hit it once. I'm going to be ready after. Serve. Ready, I've hit it twice. Ready, I've hit it three times. Remember, the frog jumps up. Give it a high five, you're next. We have 30 seconds, we've got 10 seconds left. We'll have to hit the target four times. Ready each time. Three, two, one, and stop there. Right, put your score in. I got six. Whew. Right, we're gonna make it a little bit trickier now because I think you're very good at this, I can tell. Like I said, if you don't want to do this, it's a bit too tricky. And if you miss, don't worry, it doesn't matter. You could just throw. If you want to, you can just throw at the target. That's fine as well. This is tennis for anyone. Tennis for all. Tennis at home. Right, I've got two targets. So now I'm going to call out what target I'm going to aim for. I'm going to aim for the pink cushion or the green cushion. If you've got two targets, use them. And it only counts now if you hit the target you were aiming for. So remember the contact point is above your head. And where you point the strings, that's where the frog or the ball will go. So we're going to have another 40 seconds. You've now got to aim at your target, or that service box that we correctly answered earlier. Right, are you ready? Your time starts now. So tricky this time, we probably won't beat our scores, but I'm gonna go for pink. Yes, I got it. I'm gonna go for green, I've got to point the strings at green. Yes, I got it. Make sure you're ready after every time. I'm gonna to point to green again. Yes. I'm gonna see if I can throw it. I've got 10 seconds left, so point, you can point at your target. Point at the target first. And throw. Oh, I don't wanna hit you, I'm aiming for the target. Three, two, one. And stop there. Well, we're finished, so give yourselves a handshake. Congratulations everyone who's done those serves today. Remember the most important part of our tennis is we need to get the ball in to start the rally. And today we looked at getting sideways. Think about that frog jumping up. Where's the contact point above the head? And then wherever the strings point, that's where the ball goes. And remember, we're trying to serve it into that service box.